Moving into the Big Ten again, Wisconsin 27, Iowa 7. We don't have to spend long on this, but some of the numbers here. Wisconsin won yardage, 270 to 156. They won yards per play, 3.9 to 2.8. They won third downs, 38 to 15%. They won drive points, 14 to nothing. They won rushing yards. Now, this is the stat I wanted to bring up. 166 to 24. Iowa had 24 yards rushing in this game. You talk about a Big Ten football team Ooh. that makes everything look hard on defense, on offense. Wow. Like, I've shit on Penn State today, and, and I think they've earned it offensively. Wow. Iowa what had, happened? Iowa had three turnovers. They also had three fourth down failures. They were 0 for 3, so that is effectively a turnover there. So that's six turnovers to this only team, one for Wisconsin. This team is awful. On offense, yes. I mean, I mean, awful. It's why everybody talked about it, like what they were doing early in the season being unsustainable, and it's what uh, I talked to you about when we did our little preview on Friday. Was no, Iowa right. is a team that's on the decline, and Wisconsin's on a team that's on the rise. Iowa has not had a chance to adjust yet to facing adversity. Their first, their first test of adversity was against Purdue, and they could do nothing in that game, and and then they didn't have time to get ready for this one. My, my issue with that was I've seen enough of Graham Mertz to know that I'm not afraid of him. And, Man, did you and see how I he thought, started that game? Sorry to interrupt you, but he, no. he started like seven out of eight for 80-something yards and a touchdown. Yeah. Like to, I mean, just yeah. bang. bang and I, it, I he, thought if the defense could, give, if, could, could slow their run game down and you put the ball in Graham's hands, I just assumed this Iowa defense would do what they did the first five or six games of the season, which is just take the ball away, which is what Graham has been doing, giving it away, and, and get short fields, kick a couple of field goals, and, and get a lead, and then Graham is behind the eight ball trying to catch up, and then he makes more mistakes. This is what he's done. He gets caught in quicksand. He gets caught in a snowball, and it just gets worse and worse on him, and Iowa could never get into that situation at all. And once Iowa's down, but once this game got to 10 nothing, it's over. It could have been 100 to nothing. It doesn't matter. Iowa's not scoring yeah. 10 points. They're not scoring two unanswered scores. And, and the fumble to where Wisconsin only had to run one play for a yard made it 17 nothing. And at that point, there's no reason to even watch anymore. No. This was, what are we uh, doing? This, this was rough. This was rough. Wisconsin. So I told you that he, that Graham Mertz started out like seven of eight or whatever for 80 yep. yards, or whatever. You go back and look. He ended the game 11 of 22 for 104 yards and had that one touchdown pass. They took it out of his hands afterwards. He only threw well, yeah. when he had to, and he didn't complete the passes. But just just ridiculous. Spencer Petras pulled in this game. He was 9 out of 19, 93 yards. No touchdowns, no picks. Uh, Alex Padilla came in, 3 out of 6 passing, 39 yards. You know, they had to come up with something. Uh, John Third hit said, Iowa, no running game or passing game. Yeah, their offense is... Awful. Bad. Here, here's the here's their remaining schedule. Northwestern, not good. Minnesota, bad defense. Can Iowa score on them? Illinois, kind of bad at everything. Can Iowa score on them? In Nebraska. Do you think Iowa can go two and two in that in that realm? Yeah, I think so. I, I think they can beat Illinois. I think they can beat Northwestern. I just want to I just um, know where they're going to get points. The other team will have to give them points. They're going to have to, right? You're, you're talking this defense is going to have to get him back to taking the ball away, right? Because yeah. that's what they did in the first week. That's what they did in the first couple of weeks where they were undefeated and they were a top-10 team in the country. They were taking the ball away and giving the ball in their offense on the five-yard line or the 10-yard line. And so you're only having to go a little bit and you're in field goal range when you take the ball. So currently in the West standings, Minnesota is four and one. Wisconsin is three and two. Purdue is three and two. Iowa is three and two. Um, if Minnesota wins the West, I, I'm gonna. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So Wisconsin. Uh, Larry jumped in. By the way, he said Leatherhead football. That's 100 percent what this was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this was old bad. man football that that this I typically enjoy. So Minnesota. So Wisconsin has got at Rutgers, Northwestern, Nebraska, and at Minnesota. And I mean, they'll be favored in every one of those. Every one of those games. games. That's right. That's um, right. Minnesota, however, is now six and two overall. They face Illinois next week. They got at Iowa, at Indiana, and Wisconsin. Their only conference losses to Ohio State in a game in which they played pretty good. This is a team that lost at home to Bowling Green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's their other loss, by the way. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I, I still. Th this is. Is there a separation of teams with losses? 
<laughs> one one is to a top five team in the country, and the other one is a bottom hundred team in the country. Yeah, yeah, this, like a bottom one hundred twenty team in the country. Yeah, they Bowling Green is Bowling Green's better. Than it's going to be one of the but, weirdest resumes in the league. Oh, like that's just, like them and Mississippi State are going to have a weird ass resume. Right? That is that is something else. That is something else. Yeah, that's uh, Big Ten. Big Ten's nuts. Big Ten is nuts. Can we, Minnesota to keep winning. Now, I, I think Ohio, uh, Wisconsin. I think Minnesota will kind of lose some of these games coming up, and I think at some point in time, maybe Wisconsin catches them. Wisconsin, uh, Wisconsin uh, uh, Minnesota could go eight and four. That's what I think. Yeah, I was about to say, so yeah, that, but I, I think, think Wisconsin lose. can win out. I, th- I do think Wisconsin can win out. We thought, well, see, we thought Wisconsin was going to be really good before the season started. They just started off god awful. That's a team but that you their toughest them, slate was at the beginning of the season. Yeah, I mean, I, you want to give yeah. teams credit for improving though. Like it wasn't just that they played a tough slate. Begin see they looked awful at the beginning of the season, and now they look competent. I don't think it's because of the quality of opponent. Because Iowa was a great team when they played, and Iowa's regressed, and Wisconsin has progressed. Yes, yes. They lost to Penn State early based on turnovers. They lost to Notre Dame because of turnovers. Who else did they lose to? I don't. I, don't I also think that Notre Dame team is a lot better than this Wisconsin team. I think if yeah. they play today, Notre Dame's just as. I think that game ends the exact same. Notre Dame's just a better football team. I don't know if they beat them forty-one to thirteen, but I think. Oh, okay. No, 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 but, no. But, but yes, yeah, I think Notre Dame wins. outcome. Yeah, but I think uh, no, Notre Dame wins, and whatever the line is, Notre Dame probably covers. Like I, yeah. I think I just think they are the better football team. I think you are probably right about that. But that's not a knock. Notre Dame's a pretty no. damn good football team. They got one loss, and it's to Cincinnati. Yes, Notre Dame's a good football team. Yeah. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.